Hello, everyone. Welcome back once again. Yesterday, Elon Musk delivered a company update at Starbase in South Texas. During his speech, Elon Musk congratulated the entire SpaceX team for breaking and setting many records last year. He also revealed the plans for what SpaceX aims to achieve in 2024. More importantly, he provided some key objectives of Starship Flight 3. Yeah, and so with, with, flight, with, with flight 1, the goal was not to blow the, the, the pad up and ideally get, get some distance, which we did. With flight 2, it was to get past a staging. So we achieved the goal of getting past uh, staging and almost to orbit. And then flight, uh, flight 3, we've got, uh, well, we want to get to orbit and we want to do uh, an, an in-space uh, engine burn. Uh, from the header tank and and prove uh, the that we can rel reliably deorbit. Um, we want to do a tipping point uh, header domain uh, propellant transfer. Uh, this is uh, important for the uh, NASA Artemis program, and uh, we want to uh, also demonstrate the the payload door for the sort of PES dispenser for um, delivering the Starlink set the. The V2 non-mini, actually probably V, I guess V3 technically, uh, but really the really giant satellites to uh, orbit. As mentioned in my previous videos, 2024 is going to be a crucial year for the Starship program. While we've already witnessed two launches, Starship is yet to reach orbit. The on-orbit refilling demonstration is the minimum objective SpaceX has to achieve by the end of this year or early next year. So we also want to demonstrate uh, on-orbit refilling. This is uh, very important for the NASA Artemis program. Um, so we're very proud to be part of the NASA Artemis program. I'm always in incredibly grateful to NASA for their support um, and for trusting us uh, to do um, to take take astronauts to orbit, to trans take cargo to the space station, and to be an integral part of of getting astronauts back to the moon. NASA has set its sights on the Artemis III crew mission to land on the moon in September 2026. Before that, SpaceX must complete one or two uncrewed missions to the moon for certification, and time is running out. With pressure from China to beat the USA to land on the moon first since the Apollo era, SpaceX must also accelerate its vehicle development and be ready to return humans to the moon. One notable change we will soon see at Starbase is the construction of a second Starship launch tower at the South Texas launch site. To successfully land on the moon, at least 10 tanker Starships will be required to refill the tanks of a Starship in orbit, which will require the use of multiple towers to launch Starships in quick succession. For those who missed the news, SpaceX is targeting February for the launch of its next Starship flight. Yesterday, SpaceX conducted a cryogenic test on Super Heavy Booster 12 at Massey's site through midnight. This is the third flight-worthy Starship booster that SpaceX has in its hands. As SpaceX rapidly expanded its rocket factory to construct the Star Factory of the future, all old buildings were removed from the site. The demolition of the last standing production tent, also known as Tent 3, was completed this morning. It truly marks the end of an era. SpaceX has come a long way in constructing the first multi-planetary spaceport on Earth. Earlier this morning, the launch of the Starlink 710 mission from Vandenberg was scrubbed due to high upper-level winds. This launch has been delayed multiple times due to bad weather. SpaceX will be targeting tomorrow at 12.59 am Pacific time for the launch. This will be the fourth mission of SpaceX in 2024. The global launch leader is targeting January 17 at 5, 11 p.m. Eastern Time for the launch of Axiom Space's third private crew mission to the International Space Station, a X-3 mission. Crew Dragon Freedom for this mission arrived at the hangar inside Launch Complex 39A at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. This mission will mark the first crew mission of 2024 and the 12th overall for SpaceX. That is all I have for now. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.